Hi, my name is Tom Noddy, and I'm a professional entertainer. In fact, I blow bubbles for a living. <laughs> it's an easy job, but somebody's got to do it. So, I understand that you guys like mathematics, and so I'm going to try and show you a little bit of my act. I can't do my full act for you at this time, but uh, I'll show you a little taste and focus on some of the geometry. Sometimes when I tell people I'm going to do a bubble cube, they'll start off by denying that it's possible. Okay, well, nothing's impossible, right? Now you're noticing that it's it's not a square cube. The, wall, the lines are not straight. The faces are bulge out from the center. It's a spherical cube. That's what Buckminster Fuller would have called it. That's just for fun. So, bubble cube. Let me show you some other geometric shapes. This one is a, a tetrahedron, four triangles, a kind of a pyramid. Four triangles. And this one, you'll see the walls really bulge out. It's a spherical tetrahedron. Bucky's favorite. Mm -hmm. Now it's a triangular prism. Two triangles, three rectangles. Now we're back to the cube. This one I call a bubble house. Two pentagons and five rectangles. 3D. <laughs> That's the thing, 3D, three dimensions, right? The real world's in 3D. But, you know, there's a lot of 3D movies, 3D videos, 3D. 3D is an important video games uh, in media today. You know, I've, for decades, I've been doing 3D bubble shows. <laughs> um, but I want to show you guys something different. I want to show you the new thing I'm up to. Two dimensions. Two dim bubbles in two dimensions. Here, watch this. Come over here. So two-dimensional bubbles, 2D. So really what I'm talking about is I'm going to blow bubbles onto this flat glass plate right here. Right now, you see that as a dome. But really, the glass plate is part of an overhead projector. That was a teaching tool used years ago. It's, they're obsolete now. But if you could only see the edge of this dome, it would look to you like a, a single round line, a circle. And I would project that onto the wall or onto a screen. They did that in classrooms forever. In this case, it's, it's a circle. If I put three, it would be three lines. In this case, three walls. One, two, three. But you won't see the walls. You'll only see the lines. It's kind of a flatland version of bubbles. You'll see the two-dimensional lines. And, and I'll refer to them as lines, but every time I do, you'll know that we're really talking about the edge at the end of a wall. Edges. So okay, so two dimensions. Let me let me start with a single bubble. Now that's a pretty good circle. That might be the closest thing you've ever seen to a perfect circle. They're all pretty good. <laughs> but here, normally when you see three bubbles, they'll be in contact with each other and we get this. Yeah, three lines coming together at three equal 120 degree angles there in the center. 
That might be what you expect when you see three bubbles. 120, 120, 120. So with four, what might you expect? Uh, some people think it's going to be 90, 90, 90. Well, let's see. But it's not, is it? It's this odd tilted H shape. Here we have three coming together at 120, 120, 120. And here we have three coming together at 120, 120, 120. Even if we put one in the center, and we do get that kind of square, rounded square, we still get three coming together here, three coming together here, three coming together there, and three coming together here. Always at three equal 120 degree angles. Pentagon, hexagon. It is the way the honeybees do it. If they like hexagons, they'll stack them all up. It's a minimal arrangement. It uses the smallest amount of wax when they're building their honeycombs. So they kind of stick with hexagons. And hexagons are built up of 120 degree angles. But maybe it looks like I'm intentionally putting them together to show these these uh, three walls coming together. Let's see if I'm just random. I'll just blow some bubbles in the air above the wet plate. The bubbles will land however they land. And let's see how they arrange themselves. Okay, now there's a complex structure. There are a lot of things to look at there. But don't look at everything. Look at the lines. Forget about this hexagons and pentagons and octagons and non Just look at the lines. Look for a place where, pick any line. Follow it to the end where it joins other lines. How many are there? Three, that, yeah, one, two, three. For any, any line, follow it. It's joining the other lines which uh, at 120 degree angles. It's always three. It's always 120. Look, even when the, the bubbles start to pop, the ones around them, the ones that are left, will go into motion looking to rearrange themselves so that all intersections become three walls, three equal 120 degree angles. It's a minimal arrangement. Bubbles are fluid. Everything in nature is trying to minimize. But bubbles do it perfectly. <laughs> I mean, they'll not only do three-way junctions, just as the, the roots of trees are always three-way junctions, splitting rivers are always three-way junctions, branching of trees, three-way mud flats when they dry, the cracks in three-way junctions. That's a minimum. Nature prefers that. But with soap bubbles, they not only do three-way, but they do three-way exactly at 120-degree angles. It's the only way they'll stabilize. They'll stay in motion until they can find that new arrangement of three walls, three equal, 120 degree angles. There we go. So bubble magic in 2D. <laughs> so thank you for inviting me. And uh, look closer at bubbles. You know, you can't blow an ugly bubble. <laughs> there's, a, there's magic in there. When I say magic, I mean, you know, physics <laughs> and math. So enjoy. Thanks. Bye.